What happens with my shoes? You're on the entirety of my shoe. The entirety of it. But you can't even see that there's another shoe there. What the hell? Hey guys, I don't even know if I've vlogged yet, but uh, welcome to the week. <laughs> it's the weekly vlog. Um, been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild for the Switch, um, and I was I was hesitant to like it because I'm I know I don't really get along too well with Zelda games. And I just got off of the Great Plateau, and the scope of how big this game just kind of became real to me. Because the second I got off of the Great Plateau, I started looking at how big the overall world map was, and how big the Great Plateau itself seemed to me while I was in it. And holy fucking shit. This game is massive. Nintendo has really outdone themselves on this. And I'm thinking I might actually end up having a Zelda game in my top top five, at least, of all time. By the time I'm through with this. And by, this, by the way, like I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this game. Like, I thought I was, but look at how big this is. Jesus Christ. And how bad I am at the combat. Or aspects of the combat. I'm apparently really, really trash at hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. However, when it comes to mounted archery, I might be the GOAT. I might be the GOAT. So... I basically was getting mobbed on by two uh, mounted Bako goblins or whatever they're called. And the first time I encountered them, I literally just got ran over. Like literally he ran me over, I lost 95% of my health. And then I died a second later. The second time I had a lucky hit, knocked him off his horse, hopped on his horse, which I thought would be a little bit harder to do than it was. Like, it literally was just like, oh, you just GTA'd this motherfucker's horse. <laughs> like, it's okay. And I'm running around, and this other guy's, like, you know, circling me, trying to figure out how he's going to attack me. And I was just like, well, I know you could do mounted archery. Let me try it. And I sniped that motherfucker off his horse. And then I did it again to the other guy, to the, uh, the other bo Baco Goblin that was on foot. And it's just like, holy shit, I might love this game. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know a lot of you are probably already huge Legend of Zelda fans, most people are. But let me know very specifically if you also have never been a big fan of the Zelda series, but you're giving it a chance because it's really all there is on the Switch right now. YouTube is weird. So, one of my videos got denied monetization because they believe that it is not advertiser friendly. Let's take a look. So, from what I can tell, their main gripe would possibly be the thumbnail. Because there's a pickle. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering something that happened in the video. That I talk about some weird shit. I don't know. I just think that's a really weird thing. To deny monetization for. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, realistically I was going to make like six cents off the video so it's just I just think it's a funny thing that 
that would be the reason a video would get denied monetization. I'm, I'm used to like seeing like copyright claims or whatever and losing monetization that way, but advertiser friendly. is Thursday and for the first time in maybe two months we're actually going to do game night tonight looking forward to it I don't really remember where we are in our DMD campaign which is unfortunate because I'm the DM um, a few other things that I did this week I actually finally purchased another spy cam to go on the hat so we're going to have that for our um Weekend Adventure and Video Game Hunting debut coming later this month, early next month. I can't remember. Uh, I think I think I'm recording it at the end of this month, but I'll probably be posting it like the first Saturday of April, if I remember correctly. Um, so hopefully that one, hopefully that works out. I actually invested a little bit more. That I was expecting into the, the spy cam, so hopefully it works out pretty good. I'm supposed to be able to do 1080p recording, so unlike the last spy cam, you shouldn't really see that much of a difference in quality between the phone and the spy cam, which would be good. Because the other one, like it was pretty obvious when I was recording on the spy cam. Um, so hopefully that gets here in time. And, well, it will should be here before the weekend actually but we'll be testing it out might do some thrifting videos before weekend adventure pops off so we might actually get a little bit of spy cam footage before then right now i'm pulling in dunkin donuts to get my mandatory coffee so i can survive on my trip to work because the sun gets the fuck in my face and yeah tomorrow night we're going out Oh, we're going to Alicia's best friend's house for dinner. Don't think I'll record there, but we'll see when I end the vlog. I've been ending it on the Saturday lately, so we'll see. We're supposed to actually get some snow tomorrow, which is fucking unfortunate. I hope I didn't jinx us when I started talking about how nice the weather was a few weeks ago. Because right now it's 48 degrees, and I'm not even wearing a jacket, so... Tomorrow we get snow fucking New England. So it's this fucking nice out right now. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Like up to five inches. I'll say it again. Fuck New England. Um, why is the moon red? Shit about to go down. The clay I used before it's baked does not look like that at all. all right. It looks actually more like your skin tone. Start. And that purple is kind of crazy too. Yeah, and that's why I used it because I've never used I, on all the characters. I don't think I had anything purple except maybe the big boob lady had purple, but I don't know where the <laughs> hell she went. Oh, there she is. Well, the big boob lady is kind of yeah, it's got purple, but. Which yeah. um, reminds me of. Um, deep purple like that, though. Yeah. There, right, guys, it is Friday. And it's snowing in New England, and I'm heading to work. It's not sticking on the road, but let me know if you guys have the same opinion on this as I do. Snow at any point after Christmas is depressing. And I was just thinking about that, I was pumping in gas, and it's just like, this in any point of December before the 25th, and I'm just like, all right, snow. We're gonna have a white Christmas, and now it's fucking March 10th, and it's snowing, and we're gonna get even more snow on Tuesday of next week, and it's like, I'm not going to let it hold me back as far as when I start Weekend Adventure again. Um, still going to aim for filming at the Carl Go Trade event that's coming up at the end of the month. 
The only thing is that might be a little bit different than last year is I might not have a video every single Saturday for Weekend Adventure. Because I was, I was on a pretty good roll where it was like every single Saturday for years. And this time, if it's going to have weather like this where we're not able to go to the flea market or garage sales, we'll have to figure out something else to do a video on on Saturday, I guess. Get the fuck off. Yeah, so it might not be an every week thing once we start up again, but I'll try my best. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, I'm bringing my, my Nintendo Switch out for the second time ever tonight. Uh, I'm actually bringing it to work with me because I'm going out directly after work for dinner with friends over their house and bringing the Switch. Don't know if I'll play any games with them because all I have is Bomberman and honestly, Bomberman's not that great. I'm regretting that purchase a little bit. Uh, it's like a worse version of Super Bomberman 2 on the Super Nintendo and Super Bomberman 2 on the Super Nintendo was great. The problem is this one doesn't quite feel right. But other than that, it's mostly this. It's like they just kind of remade it with new graphics, but didn't capture the gameplay just right. So, time to get to work. Don't you dare record it. It's for the packages. That light makes it fucking unusable because it's the fucking sun. Good. The sun is here. I'd rather open some packages.